Hi everyone, I am at NEDS 2022 in Rotterdam. The Dutch DMO yesterday issued a request for quotations to three shipyards for the Walrus class replacement program. We are now going to meet with uh, Naval Group to learn about their proposal based on the Barracuda family submarine. Laurent, what are you proposing for the Netherlands submarine replacement program? We understand if the RFQ confirms what we what we expect that uh, the Royal Dutch Navy is uh, expecting a top-end niche capability, uh, uh, which means a certain uh, category of, uh, of submarine. We will provide, as far as we, uh, as, as everything is confirmed, we will provide um, a Barracuda class submarine based on a certain number of technologies which we consider very adapted to the, to the needs of the Royal Netherlands Navy. Uh, the Royal Navy is uh, the, the leading conventional navy in terms of submarines in the, in the NATO. Uh, so the, the expectations the, the Royal Navy has is, uh, are very high. We understand that they are very high. But we understand as well that the, the expectations are not only based on, uh, what, the, on what the Navy wants, but also what the country wants, and the country wants to, to ensure uh, 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 strategic autonomy, to ensure uh, that we, we are in budget, we are in a schedule, we are, we are um, um, mastering the risks. We have acquired and developed the, the experience on the Barracuda, um, uh, the, the GMO and the, I would say the Dutch authorities will benefit from the experience we had uh, developed on the program and uh, the Dutch authorities will benefit as well of all the experience we have uh, related to transfer of technology uh, and we understand that at the end of the day it is not uh, a RFQ to supply for submarines, it's an RFQ to, to build a, a real strategic partnership with different components and we are going to work on that. Thierry, uh, technically speaking, is there a key design feature that makes your design stand out compared to the, the competition? Oh yes. Um, <clears throat> so what we are proposing to the Dutch Navy is a submarine uh, tailored from the Barracuda family. It means that it would be a submarine able for exp expeditionary uh, capacities. It's of course this submarine will be of course able to operate in shallow waters, in confined sea, even the Mediterranean Sea, which is quite a small sea, but surely we want to be able to operate with a long range and long endurance at sea. For example, in the Caribbean Sea, in the Indian Ocean, where the water is, the sea water is hot, and in high intensity of operations elsewhere. We want also to operate in very silent oceans, maybe in the, uh, if necessary in the north of Europe also. It means that this submarine must have an acoustic superiority, must be very silent. This will use part of the technology used on board our SSN, the French SSN, and our experience on board SSBNs. We will first have a submarine with an albacore shape, with an integration of the sonar so you can reduce the aerodynamic flow and reduce the uh, own noise of the submarine and improve the detection of the submarine. Adding that with a good processing sonars, you can improve your detection and detect all the silent threats. Second point will be the invulnerability of the submarine. Using the technology from the our SSNs, cradles, uh, rafts, any equipment which will be elastically mounted or suspended will reduce all the noise of the submarine. This is the main goal of our submarine, the acoustic superiority. Second point will be the control room. A combat system and an integrated platform management system which will be fully integrated. And we want a system which is easy to handle, easy to learn and to train ashore on simulators and also on board. 
Last point, very important point, it's a, a powerful uh, system for the weapons. First, with a weapons room dedicated for weapons, not only torpedoes, also anti-surface missiles and, if necessary, cruise missiles. How future-proof is the design, for example? Uh, can it assist uh, in seabed warfare operations, which is becoming a keyword nowadays? We know that the future probably will be the seabed, and if the Dutch Navy needs this kind of capacity, we will be able to cope with these capacities, of course.